No one disagrees that the ability to actually prevent any cyber attack from occurring, rather than just detecting and responding to it, would be the best solution. Back in the 80s, when viruses were much simpler, we actually used to have this capability using signature-based antivirus solutions that were able to prevent known malware. But threat actors were smart. Once they understood the potential of what they could gain from malicious attacks, they quickly learned to bypass those AV prevention technologies using polymorphic code, what we now know as mutation, where one small piece of code changed, and so too the AV solution needed to change in order to keep up. Then in the 90s, AV companies understood that using static heuristics meant that they could generalize enough to catch some of the mutated threats. Once again, hackers regrew and started using various types of packers and cryptors to hide malicious payloads, allowing them to effectively bypass the heuristic analysis tools. This was about the point in time that the industry really stopped innovating when it came to prevention technology and started to look at what we call on-execution protection. For example, detecting an attack while it was happening and only then reacting. The first such solution was what we called sandboxing, where suspicious files were put into a sandbox or emulator, a safe environment to check and approve the suspicious file. In some implementation scenarios, it had a high cost on latency and efficiency and damaged productivity, and in some it provided detection only. It didn't take long for hackers to release malware containing evading techniques, like anti-sandbox and delaying mechanism of the code from execute, etc. In response to this, AV Technologies released behavioral analysis, meant to examine the processes during their running on the machine itself and detect if it was behaving in a malicious way. As we moved further into the 2010s and our devices became more complex, so hackers and their attack vectors became more sophisticated. Fast forward to 2015, and along came machine learning, which when applied to static analysis, allowed the industry to take an important step back towards prevention technology. However, it was still not 100% effective when facing new or never before seen threats, while still creating high false positive rates. Hackers found it easy to bypass this protection using fileless techniques, metamorphic code, and new attack vectors and surfaces. The industry had given up on the prevention methodology in favor of detect and response, EDR technology. All the data needed in order to detect an attack was recorded and presented to the customer for them to hunt after. But this approach met many challenges, cost-wise and detection only. And now here we are in 2018, reinventing prevention using deep learning-based technology. Finally, we can really stop both the known and unknown threats in the wild today with much lower false positives than ever before. This is Deep Learning Cybersecurity. This is Deep Instinct.